Hi, welcome to this screencast from E. A. Vanderveer, author of PowerPoint 2007, The Missing Manual. She's going to guide you through adding a chart to your PowerPoint presentation. As you follow along, you'll see how to use the Insert tab to open the Insert Chart dialog box and choose a type of chart. You'll learn how to adjust your data in Excel, how to recognize and adjust the bounding box, and how to use the chart tools to customize your chart with a special design and style. This screencast will show you how to add a chart to your PowerPoint slide. Now, the first thing you need to do is come up here to the Insert tab, click Insert, and Chart. When you do that, you'll notice that an Insert Chart dialog box appears with a lot of options for the different kinds of charts that you can add to your PowerPoint slide. Now you can scroll through these either using the scroll bar on the right side of the dialog box or you can come down here over here and choose a category at a time. I'm going to choose a pie chart here so I can in an exploded pie you can see. You can either double click your choice or click it once to choose it and then click OK as shown here and what will happen is that PowerPoint will actually launch Excel. So in a minute here you're going to see an Excel spreadsheet preloaded with a little bit of data that you can overwrite with your own data to create your chart. Now as you can see here you've got four categories and you've got of data and you've got a place for the title for your chart. All you need to do is click in a cell in Excel and overwrite the existing information with it, whatever you like. So for my title, instead of the generic sales, I'm going to type in knitter's budget. And then what I'm going to do is come down here and change the category names. You can do this later, but it's easiest to do it right away as you create the chart. Notice too that you're not constrained to the number of categories that PowerPoint slash Excel starts you out with. You can have as many as you want. The important thing is that when you add a new category and new data that you see this blue line appear. This blue line is the bounding box that shows uh, PowerPoint what your data range is. So you need to make sure that this, uh, this surrounds the new data. If it doesn't, you want to click here until you see this double headed arrow and then drag so that it does bound the information that you want. I'm going to leave it here because this is all the information that I want right now. Type in your data. Keep in mind that neither Excel nor PowerPoint does any of the math for you. If you create a pie chart and the numbers don't add up to 100, PowerPoint is not going to have a problem with that. You can see over here as you type in your information that PowerPoint adjusts your chart to match. To minimize Excel, get it out of the way, just come up here, click the minimize button on Excel, and then you can expand PowerPoint. And what you're probably going to want to do after you create a chart is to give it a little bit of oomph. You want to come up here to Chart Tools Design tab go to the chart layout section and choose a chart layout that you find attractive. You have several options and what you see here is going to change depending on the type of chart that you chose. You're also going to want to click one of the chart styles. You have a lot of options when it comes to these. Some of them look really really good. There are some 3D um, options for charts that make them just pop. I'm going to choose one of these here. All you have to do is click that's automatically applied to your chart and you can see your series values here and that's it that's how you create a basic chart in PowerPoint thanks for checking out this screencast and feel free to explore some of the other screencasts in the series and for an in-depth look at PowerPoint 2007 Check out PowerPoint 2007 The Missing Manual.